Hello, welcome back to the second part of our Craft Along series with the Magic Shop. When we left off before, I had just finished the inside. I did decide to add the paper to the back and as you can see, I've done some distressing on it um, to make it match the inside. I also used a brown marker to color the bottom edges that were left raw. I did also add the black trim to the windows on the outside. I don't like the red, so I've decided to paint the red parts green to match the front. I'll be using a plain paintbrush and a stencil brush. So we'll start with the green, and we're just going to cover two coats of paint over the red. Paint one coat on and let it dry completely and then or pretty much and then just add your second coat. They don't have to be heavy coats. If some of the red shows through or it kind of has a red tint to it that will be quite all right because we're going to put another layer of distressing on top. <clears throat> so to do the distressing we're going to use the dry the um, stencil brush little bit of paint on your brush and wipe as much of it off as you can on a paper towel. You want very, very little paint on your brush. Then you're going to just lightly brush across the green with a very light hand and not a lot of paint. You can go in one direction or both directions. As you can see, I've applied a little bit heavier and that kind of naturally will happen on the edges. We're also going to go over top of the black and the center area of the black on the windows and just brush until, again with a very light touch, until you get uh, the right amount that you want. And don't forget to do the top edge and the outside edge. So I did go ahead also and decide to use the paper for the base, but we are going to do something different with it. So the next step is to create this rounded shop window and you want to just start by gluing your bottom pieces and simply just follow the instructions and as you're following the instructions you can um, just build it up to a certain point. I, can, I did grab a gold paint pen and paint the edges of all of those flat pieces as well as the, um, no, I guess I didn't do the windows. I just did all the flat pieces you see there. So here you see me building the base. This is probably going to be the trickiest part of the whole construction because you start out with this base, then you add these two side posts and you need to let those completely dry before you go much further. Um, you can see here now I've picked up some of the little window pieces that make the bars at the bottom of the window and I've added those and you need to stop at this point and let this completely dry. I did have quite a bit of problems with this part of it. Once I got the bases in, as you see me doing now, so you go with a flat piece and then you're going to have one of the notched pieces on top of that which holds those little posts. Then you have those curved half circle pieces with the notches in them and the posts with the notches in them. And they're very, very fiddly. I first tried putting the post in, then, then adding the half or the curved notch pieces. It would not stay together. It just kept falling apart. So then I tried, oh, and here I'm taking on the raw edges not the notched side, but the opposite side. And I've colored them with a green paint pen because they're left raw. So it's much easier to do it this way than it is to glue it and then try to color it. So I've colored all of the little notched posts as well as the curved circle. Let me get a little drink here. my little squeaky water bottle. So here you'll see me trying to add these posts in. 
they're two little posts that go against the back um, thicker posts so you can go ahead and put those in and let them dry now here's where once I failed to get everything working the easiest way I found to do this was to lay it flat put your curved round pieces in first let them completely dry then come back and add your um, your single tall post and that was much easier but you need to make sure that this is perfectly straight or as straight as you can get it so be sure to use your craft mat once you get those in and they're completely dry you can start adding the top of the or adding in the extra flat pieces again there's a flat piece with the notches on the left and right back side and then there is a another piece that's that has the notches in it for the post. Once you get those all in, take your paper label and just kind of run your fingers along the back and that will make it naturally curve and it'll be much easier to get it in there than if you try to do it afterwards. So once you set, get, have the curve right, it glues inside on the back edges and just around the little lip of one of those flat pieces. And here I'm adding the last top piece. And at this point, I would just make sure that top piece is laid flat and then let it dry. The next step would be the steps. So these are just paper covered you punch them out, they're not stickers, at least this part isn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you're going to, once you have your papers glued to the pieces, you're going to glue the top piece to the bottom piece. And then this part is a sticker, and they go around the edges. And once you get that done, then you can ad adhere the steps to the base. And I found that a lot of the pieces were warped slightly, so they didn't want to stick. So you can see me using my one, two, three blocks here to put some weight on it and hold it down. And I left that for 10 or 15 minutes till I gave it enough time for the glue to really hold. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.